Yeah. I record all the instructions I always do. It'll just be about 10 minutes and I I always like to at least have a video of what we did that day to remember. In every ranking, or like every category, we're third. So. Sweet. Yeah, good win, by the way. That was awesome. Thank you. Play. That was a good match. Thank you. You're welcome. I've never had a bigger head. Oh, Alright. So I'm gonna hand up your test. Um just make sure everything's down below you. So if you get done early, I'll, I'll have the password on the board, you can just log right in. So, But I want to go through the instructions, at least give you one more chance to look it over. Zach, you ready to go on this? Instructions real quick here. Uh, again, if you if you think you're done, that's fine. Just go through the instructions and make sure you answer the question correctly and what I was looking for. Number one, you're converting to radians. Remember, you use pi over 180. <coughs> Beta fraction. Uh, the second question, convert to degrees. Those can be decimals. Use 180 over pi. The third question, those two there, they're asking for two coterminal angles for each one. So you have two answers for each of those. Okay. Uh, this is technically I think problem number four, but it's number seven eight in your test. You have to use that formula in the corner. Remember, on that formula, the angle has to be in radians. If you're using degrees, you've got a wrong answer. You have to use radians for that formula. Um, nine, you have to draw the picture of the triangle. Diagram theorem to figure out the missing wall, then figure out the six trig functions. The big thing I'm checking for: if you draw it, are you using correct positive and negative signs? That's a big thing. Ten eleven. Um, Let's see, this question, they're asking for co-functions. So you gotta know what that means, you gotta give me the one answer, okay? 12 and 13, just use your calculator, figure out the angle, it has to be in degrees, make sure your calculator's in degree mode. Um, I will not teach you how to use that calculator, you should know it before coming in here. 14, 15, find the missing thing on that triangle. It's pretty straightforward, the picture kinda shows you what they're missing. If you don't understand that, read the instructions for the question. Um, 16, 17, these are a lot like number 9. You have to draw the triangle, whatever quadrant it's in. It could be the hints there to tell which quadrant it is. Then you have to do the diagram theorem and figure out the missing wall and give me the, the remaining trig functions. The big thing I'm checking for, did you draw the picture correctly? Or give me the trig functions with the correct positive negative signs. Okay, and I have all the stuff up there. 18, 19, the only thing you'd probably need a calculator for on that one, because I know it says do not use a calculator, the only thing you'd probably need one for is to convert the angles back to something smaller. That way you kind of know what your angle is, the reference angle. Then you can set up your special triangles which I have on the board and you can figure out the exact value. Your answer for 1819 should be a fraction. 2021, 20, you're drawing the pictures. There's no shifting right or left. I didn't give you any of those. So they're pretty normal. It's the wave graphs, that's what I'm looking for. Do you have all the correct markings or are they all labeled? Okay, double check it. I'll give you 15 minutes in class uh, to kind of work. If you are done, because I know some of you are done and you kind of knew it on Thursday, you can turn it to the basket, and then I'll put the, the map testing thing up here, you can sign right in and get work. Remember, on map testing, you cannot use your own personal calculator. Or you have to put that away. You have to use the scrap of paper, or the calculator on the actual, like, map right. program. Or since we can't use our own calculator, I'm going to use Bryce's and he's going to use mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can play with words, but not anymore. That's right, yeah. What? I'm going to pull out Parker from my bag. Can I use the 
years ago, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I test. Uh, if you're done, you turn it in, just log into MAPS program. You'll get today and tomorrow to work on MAPS. So kind of keep that in mind. Take your time. If I notice that you're rushing, I'll make you uh, retake it. And I do want to know your scores at the end. Because I have uh, last uh, last MAPS test scores and I want to compare them. Yeah, so, but I can't see your scores. Yeah. No. So it just tells me if you're done or not. So I do want to see your scores. I can see your scores in about two months when we come back with them. Thank <laughs> you. 